We are following stories from across Michigan tonight. Let's go ahead and start tonight in Isabella County, and that's where the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services says a bakery worker at a Meyer has been diagnosed with hepatitis A. Now, in response to this, the Central Michigan District Health Department now working with Meyer, trying to provide vaccines for all the bakery employees. While risk of exposure is pretty low, officials say they are asking customers to be aware of the symptoms. No other Meyer locations have been affected. Growers in northern Michigan are welcoming this warm start of fall with open arms. These unseasonably warm temperatures paired with the rain from the summer are getting are great for raspberries, strawberries, corn and apples. Folks at Jacobs Corn Maze in Traverse City say their corn this year has been a record of 8 to 10 feet tall. Crops have been ripening a lot faster, meaning growers may need to adjust their harvesting schedule. But the sooner, the better. The Detroit Economic Growth Corporation makes a big announcement regarding its president and CEO position. Arthur Jimison will join the group as the new president and CEO. He spent the last three years as director of housing and revitalization for the city of Detroit. In his time here, he worked to complete 1,400, uh, 1400 units involving 400 affordable units since 2015. He will assume his new role in December of 2017.